Good morning. In today's social statistics class, I am going to talk about the measures of central tendency. First, why do we need these measures? So suppose now you have a group of numbers. Could you describe this group in a single sentence? Or well, suppose now we have another group of numbers. Could you make a comparison between these two groups? It's not easy, right? We really need something that can help us to do this job. That's why we have measures of central tendency. This is a very powerful tool for us to describe data. Today, I will introduce three measures of central tendency. Mode, median, and mean. Mode is the most frequently occurring number in a distribution. So let's use the first group. So we got 20, 20, 20, 21, 21, 22, and 30. In other words, we have 320s, 221, 122, and 130. So very obviously, the mode is 20. But sometimes, there is more than one mode. In the second group of numbers, we got 20, 20, 20, 21, 23, 30, 30, and 30. We have the equal number of 20 and 30. So in this case, the modes are 20 and 30. The second one is median. Median is the middlemost case in a distribution. How do we find Median. First, all cases must be ordered. And second, you can use the formula to find the position of median. The formula is the position of median is based on n is the number of cases plus 1 divided by 2. Remember, this formula is only for the position of median, not median itself. So let's use, let's see the first group of numbers again. So very nicely, they are put in order already. So we just use this formula. So we have seven cases, so seven plus one divided by 2 is equal to 4. So the fourth case is median and that is 21. What if the number of cases is an even number? So in our second group of numbers we have 8 cases. So we use this formula, a plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 4.5. What does 4.5 mean? It's not difficult, you just need to find the middle way between two cases. In this case, it's the, mid, the halfway between the fourth and fifth case. So that is our medium will be 22. The last one is mean. Mean is the center of gravity of a distribution. You should feel familiar with mean since GPA is also one kind of mean. The formula for mean is mean is equal to Sigma x means sum of all the numbers 
divide here by n, the number of cases. So let's use the first group of numbers again. The mean will be equal to 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 21 plus 21 plus 22 plus 30 and divide it by 7 and that is 22. So with these measures now you can say something about like so the median for first group is 21 well, that for the second group is 22. So the group, the first group is smaller than the second group in terms of median. This is today's class. Next class, I will further discuss about the differences among the measures of central tendency and how we use them in sociology. <clears throat> Thank you.